We are almost done. The last thing to talk about is the My Account tab found next to the Devices and Notification tabs. Once you tap on that, at the top of the page is a place for a profile picture and your WISE username, which is just the email you use to create a WISE account. If you press on the circle for the photo, you have the option to choose a photo already saved in your phone's gallery or take a new selfie right here in the app. Underneath this is a line that tells you what version of the WISE app you have. Following that is the Account Security button. Select this to be taken to a page where you can change your nickname and some account information. Your chosen nickname will be listed in the Devices tab for people that you share your WISE cam with. New passwords will need to be between 8 and 16 digits long and you'll need to confirm it by typing it again before you can save the new password. Back to the My Account tab, the next section is Help and Feedback. When you press this button, you'll be taken to the Support section of our website. You can view video tutorials, read the FAQ, read some troubleshooting advice if you have issues with setup, see our shipping and return policies, and read the release notes that tell you what changes happen with recent firmware upgrades. At the bottom of the Help screen, it says Feedback. This is how you can help us fix bugs by submitting an app log if something goes wrong while you're using the WISE app. Pressing that takes you to an area where you can describe your issue and say what support ticket number you have if our support team requested a log from you. Make sure that the send log button is selected. That's the best tool for our engineers to check your activity and replicate the bug you found so that they can fix it. When you press submit with everything filled out, that will send it to the engineering team so that they can look into whatever happened and create a fix for the issue. And a special thanks in advance for helping us improve WiseCam. Back to the My Account page, the last thing down the list will be terms and conditions. Of course, underneath all this, you can log out of your account on the Wise app. And that is it. You've officially finished this comprehensive review of WiseCam and the Wise app. I want to personally thank you for supporting Wise with the purchase of your WiseCam. Thank you for trusting Wise. We hope that you are able to connect with more things that you care about using WiseCam. If you've had any issues setting up and using your WiseCam, please send an email to support at wisecam.com and we'll help you out. We're also on social media and you can message us there at any time. Uh, we'll, we'll write you right back. There's links to our social media channels in the description below this video. Please come over and join our communities there. So for me and all of us at WiseCam, thank you for being a WiseCam customer. We'll see you all later.